with profound, humble gratitude and love to all venerated enlightened masters. We bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy, blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part 3 of 4 Etc. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programs ofrecen varios idiomas. Visite suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule. برنامه های ما شامل زبان های بسیاری است. از این وبسایت دیدن فرمایید suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule Without a master, even the heavenly beings of second plane or humans of second level of consciousness who are made by the Lord here himself still can fall and transmigrate again in a lower state of existence. Because such is the restriction of karmic law in the heavenly world of causal down to the physical and hellish ones below. There are of course physical beings who possess heavenly consciousness and others of hellish quality depends on how they use their free will and judgment. Please keep watching to find out more. No to vegan, because you don't have to pay mortgage in hell. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Alexis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, Thai, and Ukrainian or Uranian. If you are planning to visit picturesque Montenegro, learn to say Stravo. This is how the locals say hello in Montenegrin, the country's official language. My name is Dunya. The hospitable Montenegrins warmly invite you to be awed by their country's stunning coastal views, towering mountain peaks, vibrant forests, and secluded canyons. May you find solace in the tranquil and serene atmosphere of nature. The southeastern European country of Montenegro is graced with a coastline on the Adriatic Sea and several Balkan Peninsula neighbors. This country is home to natural wonders like Biodraska Goro National Park, which contains one of Europe's rare ancient forests. In Dormitor National Park, rugged mountain peaks rise from Topaz Blue Glacial Lakes, with the Tara River Canyon providing spectacular cascades and waterfalls. Montenegro has been historically at the crossroads of multiculturalism, as seen in Kotor, a quiet waterfront city that is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Historic structures include the mosaic floors of ancient Roman villas, resplendent Orthodox churches like St. Nicholas, and the magnificent Catholic Cathedral of St. Trifon. Fostered in a rich cultural heritage and the splendidness of nature, 
The Montenegrin people are known to be convivial and charming. At the same time, the nation's code of honor is based on respect that is earned through humanity, bravery, and a humble heart. Many monuments bear witness to the spirituality of Montenegro. One of the most remarkable is the Ostrog Monastery. Built into a mountainside, this 17th century structure is an inspirational blend of humankind and the wondrous divine, a perfect place for spiritual reflection, solitude and prayer. We were pleased to present Stunning Montenegro to you, merciful viewers. May you and your loved ones live in peace and joy forever in heaven's grace. One life, one chance. Be vegan, make peace, do good deed, we'll feel great. For decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Guanyin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Guanyin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters such as the worshipped world-honored one Shakyamuni Buddha, vegan, the worshipped Son of God, Jesus Christ, vegetarian, the venerated master and philosopher Confucius, vegetarian, the venerated Lord Krishna, vegetarian, the venerated master and philosopher Lao Tzu, vegan, the venerated Lord Mahavira, vegan, the beloved Prophet Muhammad, vegetarian, peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, vegetarian, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. An extraordinary living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, individuals, and many awards, such as the 2006 Guzi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc. 
and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds. Etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan promotes the peaceful, loving plant-based diet and envisions with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where people of both animal and human kingdoms live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included alternative living flyer distribution, the international vegan restaurants Loving Hut, vegan food companies, vegan fur products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders, participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we're aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal people-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan has traveled worldwide and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. Today, we are blessed to present one of these insightful lectures entitled the Origin and Evolution of Human Beings, Part 12 of 15, On Between Master and Disciples. 
given in English on October twenty fifth, two thousand seven, in Paris, France. Peace for Ukraine or Ukraine. But as the mighty karma casts its spellful web all over the physical cosmos of life, and its power pursues all its beings relentlessly. They will be forced to fall against their better judgment time and again, and that makes sense now. Mm. Okay, my God, I must have been a doctor in former life. No? <laughs> <laughs> and then their level will lower accordingly. Mm. Now a being. Coming from third level, however, will be less likely to fall, and if this fall, will rise up quickly and escape the net of karma. Wow, I'm very philosophical. The net of karma, the spellful web <laughs> of the mighty karma. You know, mighty karma casts its spellful web all over the physical cosmos. Fools! <laughs> yeah, really, they're not kidding. The one who doesn't need glasses in the dark and they rise crawling like this is still make poem, <laughs> make some you know literature out of it for such a lousy thing as karma. It's not even worth it. <laughs> Thus, it is always best that a being reaches at least. The level of consciousness to be free, because he then already crossed over the line to the positive side, and the higher power thus looks after them. They are the citizens of the positive, and Maya cannot judge them any more. He lost the grip. Of that being, for good. Wow. Though in the physical realm, there are all beings with equal degree of consciousness. Human beings are the top. The most godlike image, the cream of physical creation. Ah, oh, I probably mean even if on a plane with all beings, you know, different shapes but same consciousness, human beings are still the cream of the cream. Yeah, the cream of the physical creation. Again, she's writing some literature, letting people know she's educated <laughs> in the dark, you know, with the flashlight. <laughs> such a worry about <laughs> poetry, the flow. Yeah, they either reside in second, first heaven, or on physical plane with second level consciousness or first level consciousness. You know, like astral or second level. The Lord of the second plane creates human beings from second plane of consciousness down to the astral level only. They are the original form of a human and possess such. Uh, qualities from the beginning. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This one comes up there. So, hey, then we begin with the Lord of Second Plan, blah, blah blah blah, and then, and then they are the original form of a human and possess such qualities from the beginning. They either reside in second, first, you know, or physical plane. Okay, that's it. That's from the second Lord of Karma who creates humans. Okay, now continue. From then down, means from the second or first or physical plane down, humans 
that uh, are evolved from the animal kingdom, ah, I see, such as gorilla downward. A smaller animal evolved first to the gorilla to be noble enough and then to become a human. If it's a, a normal cycle of uh, of evolution, yeah? Okay, now, and from gorilla to man, and then Bigfoot is the next step upward from gorilla. That's how it goes, yeah? Gorilla, Bigfoot, man, yeah? And from then on, it takes thousands of years to evolve and catch up with real human beings from astro to causal. Ah, so the real human beings are made from second level, yeah? From the Lord of the Second Plane. And remember they say they reside in the first, second, or the physical plane, yeah? And the ones who evolve from animals are different then. And later they will catch up in the evolution and come up and become also human. And like all humans, if willing and yearning will meet a perfect master, it's all the same. Hmm? Once you become a human, you, you can meet a perfect master and be free from the negative sphere, step upward to fifth plane even. These animals and trees, if blessed by a perfect master of the fifth plane, can live frog into human standard, though less intelligent. Yeah, told you already. Be that. Mm, I don't know why I said be that. I may be being or something. That if they make some virtuous deed to the master or offer of some kind, however insignificant, such as a branch for his use and the master's use, though they still retain some trace of their previous existence, nevertheless they are already in the human domain and have a chance to speed up their spiritual progress if desired. I have to look into the camera once in a while, otherwise I think <laughs> I'll see my I'll see my forehead. Who is that reading? <laughs> Without a master, even the heavenly beings of second plane or humans of second level of consciousness who are made by the Lord here himself still can fall and transmigrate again in a lower state of existence. Because such is the restriction of karmic law in the heavenly world of causal down to the physical and hellish ones below. There are of course physical beings who possess heavenly consciousness and others of hellish quality depends on how they use their free will and judgment. Looks like I'm studying with you. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm in a meditative state, I wrote, but I don't necessarily remember details. There are moral standards that dictate physical beings and karmic force to cause obstruction in their choices. They are mostly helpless, lost in the vast sea of transmigration. Hence, the second plane, causal plane, is the plane where the creative, sustaining and destroying power all reside and are the same. Yeah, equally powerful. Yeah. Three, the creative, sustaining and destroying power all reside and have an equal foothold on the second plane. There is always a recycling wheel going on <laughs> in our domains, <laughs> like if we are objects, <laughs> recycling wheel. <laughs> we are throwing there and <laughs> we are recycled, <laughs> believe it or not. In the second plane, they also do green stuff, huh? <laughs> you should call it green planet, no? Recycle. Mm. Fancy that, huh? They are all in, no? <laughs> From heaven on already. So mostly people call this heaven, no? 
you know, the astro and the second, that's heaven. In all domains, this recycling wheel is going on in all domains until one is blessed with a master presence who mercifully takes him under his protective grace and lifts him up high. But not without a mighty struggle with the Lord of Karma who doesn't want to lose his citizen. Thus, it goes also, the speed of spiritual progress depends on where one stands, at which level of consciousness, how far one has fallen, how high one has evolved, how much one longs for liberation. And of course, hey, still have. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, most important, the powerful grace of a master. Depends on that too, huh? Trời đầy con em nhỏ bên sông Mưa gió một đêm gầy cánh Chót uống men tình say túy lũy Lôi về quên mất nẻo thiên cư Russia, leave Ukraine or Ukraine now. Peace be with you too. When I think of the suffering that meat eating brings, I cannot bear the pain and anguish I feel within my heart. Nayala Pima Dundal, vegetarian. Tomorrow on Between Master and Disciples. A rare and special being, means Babaji, yeah, with extraordinary assignment. Blessed are those who have the privilege of just a glimpse of this great being. There are seventy, seventy, seven zero, such graceful ones, blessing the welfare of this planet and making sure that all beings deserve a fair chance to go back to their heavenly home. Yeah, leading the soul, helping, easing, yeah? Invisibly or visibly. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Tanzania is one of them. Tanzania Animal Welfare Act, 2008. Animal people are recognized as sentient beings and have a right to live free from hunger, thirst, malnutrition, fear, distress, physical discomfort, pain, injury, and disease. Humans should not treat animal persons cruelly. Violators are subject to imprisonment of up to one month or five. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more hurting. No more murdering them to eat, to lab test or for any reason at all. Be vegan, make peace, so be it. Trustworthy viewers, we thank you for your company for today's episode entitled The Origin and Evolution of Human Beings, Part 12 of 15 on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is Find the Living Master to Reunite with the Great Source of All Things, Part 5 of 8 on Words of Wisdom right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more constructive programming. May we cherish all the valuable beings on earth and treat them with kindness. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, heaven Godspeed.
Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.